Yes, my friends, Parasite is right now the first non-English speaking film to win Best Picture at the Oscars. It also won multiple other Oscars, but winning the most prestigious one of them all was what changed history. Yup, finally, Korea's cinema is receiving the attention it deserves. So that is why I decided to dedicate today to director Bong Joon-ho and his masterpiece. Hit the subscription and the bell button and stay with me to find out some interesting facts about the movie. And watch this video to the end, cause I have some good news for you. So if you guys have not watched Parasite yet, I think winning the Oscar for the best picture is enough for you to believe that, even though it's not an English speaking movie, it is for sure worth your time. Oh, and of course, there are spoilers in this video, so if that's a big deal for you, pause this, watch the movie, come back again. We will wait for you. For now, we will proceed with the ones that know the story, but maybe don't know what inspired the plot. Just like the guy character in the movie, Bong was a math tutor in his early 20s, working for a rich family. Even though he was bad at math, he was referred to the family by his then-girlfriend, now wife, who was their English tutor, so they hired him easily. Just like the daughter, the dad, and the mom in Parasite. If you remember, they were all referred by one another. The son, who was the English tutor, lied about having this friend, his sister, who could teach the young kid. And then the parents came in as the housekeeper and the driver. Capitalism at its best, the poor against the rich. One of the most important parts of this movie was the location it was filmed in, since 80% of the story is happening inside the houses. If you come from a lower class family, the whole house situation of the poor family does not surprise you. Or at least that was the case for me. I didn't even think twice when I saw the house of the poor family. But when I read into it, my perspective changed. If you pay attention, the Kim family is eye-level with the streets. Their view is the trash cans, the concrete, and every now and then the passing of busy people who are trying their best to make ends meet. Also, a drunk guy who keeps urinating right there in front of their eyes. However, the rich ones, the Park family, is living in this glorious house, and the view from their couch is the blue sky and the beautiful trees. A life filled with possibilities. All they need to do is stretch out their arms and they can reach the sky. Another great remark on capitalism. The beautiful view is what you will get if you work hard enough, and the ugly view is what you will get if you fail. An interesting fact about these two houses is that they were both built from scratch. One in a water tank and the other in a vacant lot in Jeonju. But the houses were not the only important parts of the movie. One thing that had its own character in the movie was Scholar Stone. From the beginning till the very end, I had no idea why it was there and what it represented. When director Bong was young, his father would go on walks to find these scholar stones. But presenting it in the movie was a deliberately strange choice for the director. In the movie, the stone was given to the son, Ki Woo, by his kind-hearted friend, Min. The rock was supposed to be a symbol of good fortune. So with the rock came the job opportunity for him to work for the wealthy family. Ki Woo had the knowledge and skill to make this work. All he needed was to prove himself to the family. So this is why when he enters the house for the interview, he turns into a completely different person who is pretty confident. But by the end of the movie, we see that the luck fades away. Song Kang-ho, who plays the dad in the movie, believes that the rock represents the desire in the heart of Ki Woo, the son, not to give up on the idea that he can become the kind of guy who can find a way to give his family a better life. But all it ends up doing for Ki Woo is bashing his skull in. Speaking of the dad, his ending is one of the darkest in the movie. To be fair, he didn't want this high-class life in the first place. Even during the movie, he's the only character who is constantly reminded of his place. Like the scene where the rich family is on the couch, but he's under the living room table, representing the level difference. Or when Mr. Park mentioned how he smells like radishes, the smell of a low-class employee. Considering all of this, and so much more, it seems like 2 hours and 12 minutes is not enough for the director to do justice to these individual stories, don't you agree? Well, it seems like Bong is developing a Parasite limited series for HBO. He's working with Adam McKay, the director and producer of Succession, to make this work. In his interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Bong said, With cinema, you're limited to a 2-hour running time. But there were so many stories that I thought that I could make happen in between the sequences you see in the film, and some background stories for each character. So with the TV series for Parasite, I think we'll be able to create a high-quality expanded film. That's the good news I was talking about at the beginning of this video. 
so the ones like me who loved this movie can have even more of it soon. And I promise that when that is out, I will do another deep analytic of the whole miniseries. Speaking of analyzing, were there some other motifs in the movie that you guys noticed? Any symbols I forgot to mention? I'd heard something about the toilet scene before, but wasn't sure what it was, so I didn't share it with you guys. If you know, please tell me all about it in the comments. My time is up here, and now it's your time to teach me new things about Parasite, so let's meet in the comments section and remember to like, share, and become a part of our Curiosips family by subscribing to our channel. Until next time.